Welcome back everyone. In this video, let us get started with the three core concepts in Redux. Now, if I were to just explain the three concepts as they are, I don't think it would be easy for us to understand them. So what I want to do is first explain a real world scenario that we can all relate to. After understanding the scenario, it would be much more easier for us to understand the three core concepts. All right, let's begin. The scenario I have chosen is that of a shop that sells cakes. We have all been to a cake shop at some point in our lives, so this should be straightforward to understand. Let's start with the entities. We have the shop itself that stores all the cakes on a shelf. At the front of the store, we have a shopkeeper. At the store entrance, we have the customer. Now what are the different activities that happen in this scenario? Let's assume that you are the customer. So one day, you go to the shop with the intention of buying cakes. Now at the shop, you take a look and tell the shopkeeper that you want to buy a cake. You have to keep in mind about this interaction. You let the shopkeeper know that you want to buy a cake. You never jump the counter yourself, take a cake, leave some money on the table and exit the store. Sure you could do that, but the shopkeeper is there to follow a process for you to purchase a cake. When you make a request, he will check if the cake is on the shelf. If so, he will box it for you, deduct a cake from his inventory and print out a receipt to keep track of the purchase. That will let him know why the number of cakes on the shelf has decreased. He will then box the cake and hand it to you. You then take the cake and go home. So as you can see, it is a really simple scenario. Now how does this scenario relate to Redux and the three core concepts? Let's take a look. The first concept is what is termed as the store in Redux. In our scenario, the shop safely keeps all the cakes on the shelf. In Redux, the store safely holds the state of your application. The second concept is what is termed as an action in Redux. In our scenario, we went to the shop and explicitly told the shopkeeper about our intention. We wanted to buy a cake. This intention is what is known as an action in Redux. An action describes what happened. In our scenario, the action describes that the number of cakes has to be reduced by one. The third and final concept is termed as a reducer. A reducer is what ties the store and actions together. In our scenario, the reducer is the shopkeeper. He receives the action buy from the customer and then removes a cake from the shelf, which is the store. So Redux is mainly formed around these three core concepts. A store that holds the state of your application, an action that describes the changes in the state of the application, a reducer which actually carries out the state transition depending on the action. Now you might still be struggling to get the big picture of Redux. That is simply because there is more to understand. So stick with me for a few more videos and I guarantee you, you will have a much better understanding of the Redux pattern. In the next video, let's take a look at the three fundamental principles of Redux.